Please stand by for a priority communication from Supreme Chancellor Leon Teen Suresh of the Galactic Republic. I apologize for contacting you outside normal channels, Major, but I need Havoc Squad immediately. We're prepared to handle anything you need, Madam Chancellor. It'll be good to get back in the fight. That's the spirit we'll need to triumph over our foes. And it appears we have a new one. The Hut Cartel has invaded Republic space and seized the planet Makeb. We will respond to this unprovoked act of aggression in full force. My War Council will be convening on Keylander Station in the Makeb system. I ask that you join us immediately. I'll set a course for the Makeb system right now. Greetings. I am Zen Threlo, Republic Protocol Officer. Welcome to Maked and Keylander Station. Please hold all questions. Supreme Chancellor Suresh and her delegation are arriving. Everyone, this brave soldier assumed command of Havoc Squad in its darkest hour and led it to many victories. I regret that such heroism must remain classified. Havoc Squad doesn't ask for fame, Madam Chancellor. It's enough for us to know the Republic is safe. I want the galaxy to know you're a hero. People need them, especially now. Victory over the Empire lies within our grasp. But first, we must face a cowardly act of unwarranted aggression. Supreme Commander Malcolm. Thirteen days ago, the Hut Cartel violated Republic space and seized the planet Makeb. They blockaded the system with 30 Ajur class heavy cruisers. Makeb's citizens have formally pledged to join the Republic if we respond to their crisis. We will not abandon them to the Hut's brutality. Invading a planet is way beyond casinos and spice smuggling. The slugs have upped their game. The Hut's haven't organized a military operation of this scale for millennia, and I want it to stay that way. Severe atmospheric conditions on Makeb make large-scale troop landings impossible. We need help from local resistance forces to pull this off. One of Makeb's business leaders, Shayla Mavesta, is awaiting you on the surface. I want you working closely with him. I'm surprised the planet's army didn't put up a fight, or did the Huts defeat them? Makeb's entire military strength came from hired mercenaries. The Huts simply bought them off. Liberating Makeb is your top priority, but I want the Huts' ambitions ended permanently. Grandmaster Satil Shan has insight regarding our enemy's future plans. The Jedi Council has meditated on the Cartel's actions. We believe that Makeb is a staging point for a larger attack on the entire galaxy. The Huts will not be allowed to expand their dominion at our expense. It's always an honor to face down the enemies of the Republic, Madam Chancellor. When our enemy realizes who they're facing, I predict a hasty retreat. A shuttle will transport you to Shayla Mavesta's encampment on the surface. Go now, and show the galaxy the Republic is not to be trifled with. You're one of the Republic heroes come to free my homeworld. You're just... <laughs> wow. I wish we'd joined the Republic ages ago. When you stand with the Republic, it stands with you. We'll protect you from the Huts, the Empire, and anyone who threatens your freedom. That means a lot. The past two weeks have been a nightmare. I was here when the Huts blocked all of McKeb's comm channels. Haven't been able to get a signal from my family since. No idea what's happened down there. There's only one way to find out. Fire up that shuttle's engines. Don't know if they told you, but, uh, McKeb's atmosphere's a real mess. Most ships get torn to bits by electrical storms on entry. My baby's got special ion shields to absorb the electromagnetic interference, but we're still in for a rough ride. Hopefully we won't land in little pieces. How did the cartel conquer your planet if most ships can't even get through the atmosphere? Our politicians figured, why draft an army when you can hire mercenaries? We bought the best. Bunch of hard cases called the Interstellar Regulators. But the Huts didn't bother fighting them. They bought off the Regulators with a bigger bid. Ask Shalem of Vesta. He'll tell you. My shuttle's prepped. Hop aboard and we'll be on our way. You might want to take your anti-nausea stims, too.
Welcome, Major. I'm Shalem Avesta. The Supreme Chancellor pledged support, but the elite Havoc Squad? It's an honor. My family helped found Maqueb. Avesta Mining has led our business council for decades. I was practically chief of state before the cartel's takeover. It wasn't an easy decision. But if joining the Republic is the only way to reclaim my home world's freedom, so be it. You don't sound too happy about this alliance. What made your decision to accept the Republic's help so difficult? The cab's been independent since our founding. It's always been part of our people's character. Ilosov is a former mercenary with the Interstellar Regulators. Until recently, the cab's trusted private army and police force. Quit when the Regulators sold out to the Huts. I don't betray a client for credits. Exceptions like him notwithstanding. The cartel bought off the Regulator forces and turned our former protectors against us. How many ex-mercenaries do you have on your side? Enough to take down the rest? Regulators who refused the hut buyout either ran or got shot for disloyalty before they could. I still don't know why this has happened. We've conducted peaceful business with the hut cartel for years. Casualty and damage reports coming in. Talau City got rattled pretty hard, but no injuries. Lucky. That's the fifth ground quake since the Hut's takeover. The last one leveled the Tigan mining colony. They're still pulling bodies from the rubble. Deadly atmosphere, ground quakes, and covered in huts. Real paradise you've got here. I'll have you know we've built some of the finest vacation resorts outside the core systems. Won't matter if these ground quakes demolish them all. My niece Lambda is a respected geophysicist. She joined our resistance to prove there's a link between the ground quakes and the hut's deep core mining. She was taking seismic readings on a deserted mesa when a whole company of regulators swarmed in. We lost contact with her. I sent search parties to bring Lemda back, but they aren't trained or equipped to fight a mercenary force of that size. What kind of people are in these search parties? Are they at least armed? The bulk of our forces are civilian volunteers. A few know how to fight. Most don't. Getting reports from our search parties. Dozens of regulators have pushed them back to the landing zone. We lose that, we'll never find Lambda. Let's show those traitor mercenaries what real soldiers look like. Don't underestimate them. A lot of regulators are ex-military. Take my personal shuttle to Fryn Mesa. Lane Farrow is our man at the landing zone. <laughs> 